received this Dell Inspiron 15 double five six seven laptop what it does it does not have any power and the motherboard is shorted it does not turn on no light at all and customer said he took it to multiple multiple places and the laptop did not fix mm, some of the parts has been removed from inside let's see how we can open this laptop and check if we can fix this motherboard stay with me i will be back i have opened this board missing and there is a short on this motherboard if i check on these coils as you can hear the beep there is one short here and the second one the main short i found on number four and number eight pin and this is i can consider it is difficult to fix this board because if the pin number four and pin number eight is short to ground because this number four is the ground and this one is spi 3.3 volt it is connected to pch this processor if this one is shorted the chances are the cpu has been burned because it is difficult right now this uh, this laptop motherboard does not have a board view i've checked online and i was unable to find it only the schematics available i tried to search for the connections of pin number eight and the processor and the resistors i was able to i was able to find out uh, resistors it does have rc17 resistor the number of resistor but there are no markings i will show you in details just in a in a second here if you see um, in a microscopic view as you can see in a microscopic view that uh, this ic pin number four and pin number eight is beeping and if these are beeping it is difficult for me to really trace the traces of this pin number eight because the, there are no markings on resistors that's the reason why the rc in the number i have said to you before it is rc17 and if i even try to trace this with the help of a multimeter it is already showed it there is no point of searching i'm not quite sure if it is going to show me the link okay anyway this this kind of motherboard problem it is difficult to resolve and even though if i remove a short from these lines there is no i'm not sure either the processor has been saved or not if it is burned there is no point spending time on it i would uh, because multiple shops have worked on this motherboard as you can see the condition of the board and i found some more shorts on the this this board on other side here you see people already tried to remove these capacitors to trace the short and here is the short too as already you can see the capacitor has already been removed to find the short but they were unable to resolve this issue more likely this is the processor issue and if i inject 3.3 volt in this line on pin number eight i may be able to find a short on capacitor near the processor or at the back of back side of the capacitor on process on this line if i do find that one i replace the capacitor and then check the board if it does turn on it it would be fine otherwise uh, if it doesn't turn on then there are more likely chances the processor has gone i do not have a similar board to really compare the readings of other processor that's the reason why i'm just don't i don't want to spend time on this motherboard as soon as a number of people have worked on it and my suggestion is that if you are trying to open the board just try to check these uh, four now pin number four and pin number eight together to see if any of the short you find on these pins if you do find the chances of fixing the boards are almost almost 10 percent and 90 percent there are chances that the processor has gone because i've received previously number of boards and success rate was uh, almost next to nothing like uh, i was unable to find a short and i was unable to fix the board hopefully you like the video thanks for watching it